Hello, Wiles aspirants. Today, I've come up with another crucial information for you to decide whether you should go for paper-based IELTS or computer-based IELTS. Guys, most of the students are baffled about the right option to choose for. By the end of this video, you will be able to decide which one to go for. So let's get started. So first, let's discuss the advantages of computer-based IELTS. Guys, the first and foremost advantage is that in this exam, there is a flexibility in some centers about taking the examination in the afternoon or morning or before or after the speaking test. The next perk of this exam is that the result, uh, results can be obtained more quickly within five to seven days. Next is advantage is that the word count is visible on the screen for the writing section. Hence, there is no need to count the words. Then, guys, the uh, next benefit is that there is a timer on the screen that will turn red when the candidate has 10 and 5 minutes remaining for the reading and writing test, respectively. Another positive aspect of this uh, computer-based exam is that the candidate will not have to worry about the handwriting quality. Then let's discuss the disadvantages of computer-based exam. Uh, the first demerit of this exam is that using the screen for three hours may be stressful to your eyes. The next one is that the candidate will not have an extra 10 minutes for transferring their answers after the listening test, like in the paper-based format. Then the candidate can hear people typing behind them which may be a significant distraction at centers. However, some centers do offer noise canceling headphones and quieter keyboards. Apart from that, the candidate may not be used to typing the answers, which may eventually slow their progress. Then uh, the, uh, the negative aspect of this exam is not many opportunities are available for practicing the test on the computer. Then uh, the last one is that the candidate will require basic computer knowledge, including scrolling, clicking, navigation, clearing, highlighting, copying, pasting, dragging, and typing, etc. Now let's come to the advantages of paper-based tiles. So the advantages of paper-based IELTS is, the, now let's discuss with the first one. The first one is that the students can quickly circle, underline, and practice words before writing them on the answer sheet. Since this is a standard method, guys, so uh, which is actually impossible in the computer-based IELTS examination, so students are most of the time more familiar with this. Uh, the next uh, perk of paper-based exam is that the candidate will get an extra minutes at the end of listening section for transferring their solutions to the answer sheet. This is often a boon for several students. Then the last one is that the candidate need not possess computer skills and can entirely focus on the task and at hand. Now let's discuss the disadvantages of paper-based IELTS. Uh, the first and foremost uh, disadvantage is that the candidate will face issues if the handwriting is not clear. The second one is that transferring answers into the answer box is a process that comes with risk because one must be careful about the spellings and other syntaxes. And then the last demerit is that the results need more time to be obtained. So approximately guys, it takes 15 days, uh, 12 to 15 days for the result to come out. So if you are in a hurry, you must go for a computer-based exams. But yeah, of course, you need to take care of the other aspects as well. Now, uh, there is a good news for the prospective students. So guys, currently students must take the, must take retake uh, of this uh, entire test for all four modules, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. If in case they've got a lower band, which is not uh, man, which is not uh, uh, essential for, to get the admission in their uh, university or the college. So if a student wants to improve their band score, they will have to take the whole test again instead of only retaking the module. 
So starting March 2023, students will have the option of retaking the IELTS for one component if they did not get the desired score on the first attempt. So guys, this is it for today. Follow these tips along with your core practice and subscribe to our channel to get more tips, tricks and strategies to connect with us for online training or free mock tests, DM or WhatsApp on the number below. The number is double eight one zero four three double five double zero. Yes, guys, I repeat it double eight one one zero four three double five double zero. So that's it for today, guys. I will come soon with an, another video, another crucial and important video for you. Okay, bye.